Hello guys, I designed this button with some letters on it. Let's print this. We take a look at the result. As you can see, there's a problem. If you want to know what the button is for, you have to watch this video until the end. What is causing the problem? The printer or the slicer? We can check the preview. The problem is caused by the slicer. We are going to take a closer look. As you can see, the Z, the A, the B, the U, the N and so on are having gaps. Before I show you how to close the gaps, I'm going to show you how to design such a button like this and how to add letters to it. Welcome to Fusion 360. It only takes a few steps and a few minutes to design this button. First press C to draw a circle and enter a number for the size you want. In this case 30. Then press E to extrude and extrude by 1. Select Sketch, then the top surface of your object, and then select Text. Now you can add any text you want. You can place a text on the left or right side, or on top or bottom side, or in the middle. You can change it to bold or italic. You can also change the size of the letters and the font. 50 is way too big, 5 is also too big, 3 is too small, so I go for 4. In the last step, select the letters and press E and extrude by 1. And it's done. Save it as a STL file and open the file in Cura. Back to our problem. Some of the letters have gaps. Now I'll show you how you can solve this problem. There are two ways. Type in thin walls and select this option. As you can see, all gaps have been filled. Thanks for watching, have a nice day! You are still here? Okay. This solution looks a little bit messy and I don't really like it. I show you my favorite solution. Just type in horizontal expansion. We have to play around with the value a little bit. Let's see what happens if we type in 1. At least something happens. But 1 is not the value we need. Let's try minus 1. Minus 1 and the text disappears. That's not it. Next try is minus 0.1. Still not good. What about 0.1? This looks much better. We are coming closer, but this creates new problems. We have to play around a little bit more. Zero point zero 0.01 is not good enough, still some gaps. The value we are looking for should be between 0 0.01 and uh, 0 0.1. 0 0.05 looks really good to me. Let's see if we can get a lower number to work. With a value of 0 0.04, the N and the U still have some gaps. So our value is between 0.04 and 0.05. This is good enough for me. It's printing time. As you can see, all gaps are closed. And now you may ask, bro, why do you need this button? I tell you, when I touch the button and you press the subscribe button at the same time, something amazing will happen to you next year.
you're going to see more of my useful videos, just like my next video about a buy Bitcoin stamp. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.